Hello everybody, how are you? I hope you guys are fine over there and I'm also fine here. I want to say that stay safe to everybody at this beginning of today's session. In today's session, I have two questions in my group. One is asked from Gaurav Bohra, that is of mathematics from derivative. And another one is asked by Parikshit Adhikari uh, from physics. And is a, it is actually from the section of electromagnetic induction. So at first, I want to go uh, to solve the question of uh, mathematics that is asked by Gaurav Bohra. Uh, you can see the question in this upper part of the video. And the question is, the question is, the question is, if y equal to 10 inverse a minus ax by 1 plus ax dy by dx is equal to what? Whenever I see some formula of format a minus b by 1 plus ab, we have a similar kind of formula in our mathematics that is 10a minus 10b by 1 plus 10a 10b which is actually formula of 10 of a, a minus b so let's try to change this into 10a minus 10b form for this let 10 alpha is equal to a and 10 beta is equal to x so we can write y is equal to 10 inverse 10 alpha minus 10 beta by 1 plus 10 alpha 10 beta so this is actually formula of 10 alpha minus beta as we know 10 inverse 10 theta is equal to theta that's why this becomes alpha minus beta so we can change this alpha minus beta in terms of a and x is alpha is equal to what 10 inverse a beta is equal to 10 inver inverse inverse x so if we get y in this form then we can write dy by dx is equal to dy dx of 10 inverse a minus dy dx of 10 inverse x so this 10 inverse a is not dependent on variable x that means it is constant and the derivative of constant with respect to x is 0 and the derivative of 10 inverse x with respect to x is 1 by 1 plus x square so dy by dx is equal to minus 1 by 1 plus x square is the correct answer but one thing i want to say here is <coughs> we do not need to uh, let 10 alpha <coughs> and 10 beta as a and x because we know if if we know the formula of 10 inverse a minus 10 inverse b then formula of <coughs> that formula is 10 inverse a minus b by 1 plus a b so we can directly write this as y equal to 10 inverse a minus 10 inverse x uh, using the property of inverse trigonometric function so this is answer of this mathematics problem which is posted by Gaurav Bohra in our group EPCM 2077 so next part is uh, I am going to solve the question that is posted by Parikshit Adhikari which is actually from physics and from the section of electromagnetic induction in this question as you can see this question in upper part of this video it has been said that a conducting ring of radius 1 meter is placed in a uniform magnetic field of strength 0 0.01 tesla and which is oscillating with frequency of 100 hertz and its plane is placed perpendicular to the magnetic field so it has uh, asked us to find the induced electric field remember here it has asked us to find induced electric field not induced emf so the case is like we have oscillating frequency of 100 hertz that means time period of 1 by 100 second the case is we have a circular ring 
we have a circular ring whose plane is placed perpendicular so perpendicular to magnetic field b and if its area is a then how much flux will link up with this ring that is phi equal to ba but being its plane oriented at right angle to magnetic field the flux linkage is maximum that means at this instant the flux linkage is ba and if this ring is turned by 90 degree then the flux linkage will be zero and again if this ring is turned by another 90 degree then flux linkage will be minus ba and again if it is turned at a right angle then again becomes zero and then again becomes ba that means we have a cycle of ba zero minus ba zero ba so this one is what one complete cycle so this part constitute for t by 2 time period and this part constitute for t by 2 time period from here we can calculate the emf induced in this ring that means emf induced in this ring is equal to del phi by del t if we um, <coughs> want to calculate value only then we don't have to put minus but if we want to use in the format of final minus initial then we must put minus here so it is minus b a minus minus b a by t by 2 and another minus at starting which leads us to what four times b a by t four times b a by t which is in fact 4 times b into area represents pi r square by time period t but remember the question has asked us to find induced electric field in this case we <coughs> must have the relations of what electric field and induced emf so in that case we can define electric field as induced emf so <coughs> if uh, you people know that relation then that will be very good but in case of these types of closed loop uh, we evaluate electric field from uh, <coughs> emf theory so that emf theory is actually which is given by the line integral of electric field is equal to a rate of change of flux this is actually Faraday law enhanced form of Faraday law for closed loop 95 by dt surely gives what emf so we can write for circular ring we can write e into this line integral gives us 2 pi r and what about d5 by dt d5 by dt is this so 4v into pi r square by t remember this e is electric field but this e is emf so if you people are getting confused don't forget to write here emf and this is electric field so what is the value of electric field i can cancel pi pi i can cancel r r i can cancel this two because two times two is equal to four so i can directly write electric field equal to what two b two b r by t that means 2 into what what is the value of b here so the value of b given here in this problem is 0 0.01 tesla and what is the value of radius it is 1 meter so what about time period so time period is 1 by 100 second so while solving this this 100 gets multiplied by 0 0.01 which ultimately is 1 and 1 into 2 is equal to 2 volts per meter which is the required answer about this problem i want to say one thing uh, according to the question posted uh, by parikshit adhikari in our group there are four options but neither option contains the answer of two volt per meter but you people have to ensure that the answer of this problem is two volt per meter so the answers given uh, in uh, those uh, 
options posted by Parikshit Adhikari. I don't know. So one thing new, I think uh, one thing that is new to uh, plus two students in terms of solving this problem is this part, which I have highlighted here because we are generally not dealing uh, not uh, dealing with the problem containing the closed loop but whenever there is closed loop we can uh, <coughs> calculate the uh, magnetic and electric uh, magnetic field and ele electric emf or induced emf through this relation that is line integral of electric field is equal to rate of change of flux which is ultimately induced emf in case of faraday law of electromagnetic induction so this is our final answer for the question that has been posted by Parikshit Adhikari, which is a tricky question, a little bit lengthy, but it is good. At last, so our today's session is just ended with two problem, with the solution of two problems posted in our group. So I want to say the same thing. Please uh, go for my channel, subscribe it, and as far as I can, I can give time i will try to address all the problem posted in this epcm 2077 group through the video learning technique as i have been doing now so thank you thank you all of you